The Sharp Ratio is a risk-adjusted measure of portfolio performance. It is more specifically a relative measure of portfolio performance. In the numerator, we have the return on the portfolio, R sub P, minus the risk-free rate of return. This gives us excess market return in the numerator. In the denominator, we have the standard deviation of the portfolio. It is a measure of portfolio risk. So, again, in the numerator is excess return. That's the return that the portfolio earned in excess of the risk-free rate. Certainly, a portfolio manager hopes that the numerator is positive. The excess return, then, is divided by some measure of risk. For the sharp measure, that measure of risk is the standard deviation of the portfolio. So this ratio, the sharp ratio, gives us excess portfolio return per unit of total risk. The trainer measure is also a risk-adjusted measure of portfolio performance. It, too, is a relative measure. Again, in the numerator, we've got the return on the portfolio and the risk-free rate of return, giving us excess return in the numerator. The denominator has a different measure of risk. Portfolio risk in the trainer measure is, is represented by the beta coefficient. So the numerator is excess return. Again, a portfolio manager hopes to have earned positive excess return. The denominator is the uh, beta of the portfolio. So the ratio again gives us excess return per unit of risk. Here we've got excess return per unit of systematic risk. Now alpha, also known as Jensen's alpha, is also a measure of performance. It is a measure of portfolio performance, but it is an absolute measure of portfolio performance. We can look at the value of alpha and that will specifically indicate the value that was added to or subtracted from the portfolio as a result of portfolio management. The formula shows us that alpha is equal to the actual portfolio return which is R sub P minus this term in brackets. I hope that the term in brackets looks familiar to you. It is your friend and mine, the capital asset pricing model. It's the model that we use to determine the required rate of return for an asset. So really, alpha is simply the actual portfolio return minus the return that the investor expected to earn when they invested in that particular asset. 